thanks for watching. In my previous video, I demonstrated um, a Slayer Exciter through one wire transmitting energy 10 meters outside. Now what I'm going to do is take a Slayer Exciter and put it in a full metal jacket and let's see how it performs then. What we're going to do is drop it in this box that you see there um, and basically uh, you're going to see that it um, we've got longitudinal waves um, completely unaffected by the um, the electrical field around the Slayer and the usual high voltage uh, method of using it. I believe this is what Tesla did. There's the uh, box we'll be using. It's a metal box. Let's have a look under there. There's nothing funny about the table. It's just one of those tables where the legs collapse. And I do a quick trip around. And you can see it's just a steel box that normally has tools in it. Here's the transmission line coming out from the Slayer. And we're going to use some earthing over there with a chunk of metal. Let's have a look in the box. Here the motorbike. Here we are, Slayer Exciter. Battery is shielded in our foil. And the circuit board on the bottom there. So what I have to do is an awkward process with the camera um, to reach down there and actually to connect the positive lead. And uh, when that happens, you'll see the LED light up at the top of this exciter. There we are. Now there's only one wire coming out of here. It's coming off the negative lead. It runs over the edge of the box here. What I do is I move that wire over so that it's on the insulation tape. So there's no chance of it touching the metal. And the same called this full metal jacket because when I put this lid down there's no electrical field um, from that exciter that's going to be reaching the load just what's coming out of the wire it's uh, not 30 gauge wire this time it's slightly heavier it's probably 26 or 28 no significance in the loop at all that's just to shorten the length of the wire here I am hooking it up to a 52 LED load two banks of 26 in parallel two dives now it's lit weakly because it's lacking an earth connection you can see as I move my hand over same as in the earlier videos um, my hand acts as a virtual ground and provides some of what's needed to light it I'm moving over my chunk of metal which is going to be an earth connection and because you can't see the bottom clip I'm moving from the bottom to where you can see it in the video it's just an alligator clip. I've moved it a bit closer there and I'm hooking on the other end of the LEDs. There we are, brightly lit. And take it off. Back to that. It's almost like a pre-charge, that glow that occurs. Uh, waiting for electrons from the ground to complete the circuit. What you'll notice is as I touch lamp uh, that the load lights up more. You'll see that this is uh, not the usual field that you get from a Slayer Exciter, but this is a longitudinal wave. So thank you for that. And the really exciting thing is the way it interacts with the, uh, the field from the Earth. Thank you. Thanks for watching.